Today I'm going to show you how to use the cosine rule to work out a missing side length in a non right angled triangle. So the cosine rule formula is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos capital A. And it's important to note that the little letters are the side lengths and the large letters are the angles. A lot of people get a little bit stuck on when to use the sine rule and the cosine rule. So when you use the cosine rule then, it's when you're finding a side opposite an angle and you're given the two sides either side of the angle. So the first thing you have to do then is label up your triangle. So the side that you're going to find, you're going to call little a. So this is little a here. Now since this side here is opposite this angle, this will mean that this angle here would be capital A. Therefore the two other sides would be little b and little c. And it doesn't really matter which order you label these in. So let's just call this one b and this one c. So let's use our cosine rule then. So let's write it down one more time. So we just need to now substitute the numbers into our formula. So it would be question mark squared equals 4 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 4 times 7 times cos and the angle is 48 degrees. So if you have a decent calculator you should be able to type all this in on your calculator now. So we've got 4 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 4 times 7 times cos 48. So this gives an answer of 27.5. So if you have a look at our triangle you can see this can't be the correct answer. That's because there's one more step to do. We just need to get rid of the square. So to get rid of the square we just need to square root this answer here. So if you've left your answer on your calculator, use this one because it will be more accurate your final answer. So if we square root that number there, and we get the side length as 5.25 uh, centimetres, and that's the 3 sig figs. Thanks for watching.